You know, a healthy self-image is seeing yourself as God sees you. And one way God sees you is that you are of great value. He created within you as a being great value. Now, you say, well, I don't think I am. All right, walk through this with me. What determines the value of an object? Of anything in a store, an auction, whatever. Let me show you what determines the value of that object. Let's say you're at an auction and there's an antique grand piano, and the owner of it believes it's worth $10,000. The auctioneer says, I think it'll bring in 8,000. But in that auction, you are the highest bidder, and your bid is $4,500. What's the value of that piano in the auction? It's $4,500. It doesn't matter what the owner thinks or anyone else, it's what are you willing to exchange to receive that. That's what determines the value of objects. And it's almost like in the auction of life. God is auctioning you off and a voice out of heaven says, what will you give for this person? Somebody, nobody answers. A billion dollars. There's no answer. A trillion dollars. There's no answer. A hundred thousand. No answer. Finally, a voice says, my son, Jesus sold. What determined your value? On what God, not only how God made you, but what was he willing to sacrifice to rescue you? It's Jesus. You know when people say to me, Josh, in God's eyes, what are you worth? And I say, Jesus. You say, well, that would lead to pride. No, it leads to true humility to know who you are, who made you heart, who you are, and give God the glory for it. Do you realize that if you were the only person alive, Jesus still would have died for you? That's one of the most humbling thoughts I ever had in my life, and I had it before I ever trusted Christ. And then when I realized, oh, I still get chills thinking of this, the God creator of the universe wants me to spend eternity with him. You are of great value because God created you. Now be careful. This is where a lot of people get off base. Your value is not something you created. It's not because all the nice things, wonderful things you've done, no. The value that you and I have is a derived value. It's derived from our creator. And that's very critical. And it will always lead you to be very thankful. So what is true about you? You are of great value. Jesus was willing to die that God the Father might have a relationship with you. Wow, that is something to get excited about.